Corby Meekins is in his 10th season as head coach at Spring Westfield High School. He's been working alongside his brother Matt for a few more years on top of that at this Northwest Houston area school. Corby and Matt have two other brothers and a sister. Their father was a coach for 25 years, including nine as head coach at Class 3A Shepherd High School in East Texas. For the Meekins family, football has been a way of life. Grew up talking football. We grew up in the field house. You know, we're field house rats and coaches' sons. And, you know, this is all I know. Makes it special when he gets to come out to the games. If you want to go with dad, you better get up while it's dark and you're going to get home when it's dark. So sitting in there when they're game planning, running the old school film through the projector, it's been a blessing. Our dad's taught us a great work ethic and we're just trying to continue the same things here. Yeah, we've been blessed to get to work together for probably about 13, 14 years now. It's great to get to come to work every day. 2004 was a very special season for Corby Meekins. Call it beginner's luck, but Corby guided the Mustangs to the state title in year one of his tenure, and he will be the first to tell you that you can't be too prepared for all situations when you are the head coach. It takes unbelievable dedication, hard work, preparation, and focus to make that happen. You're gonna learn a lot today. Recently, Corby Meekins had an incoming freshman open house for eighth graders and their parents. Corby was not the only speaker. Former Westfield standouts were among the guests, including offensive lineman Tony Hugo, who won a Super Bowl with the New York Giants. Wide receiver Lee Mays also won a Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Danny McRae was on that state finalist Westfield team in 2004 and played at LSU and currently with the Dallas Cowboys. Former Westfield defensive tackle Desmond Jackson was also on hand. He fulfilled a childhood dream of getting a scholarship to play college football at the school of his choice growing up, the University of Texas. And I'm the first man in my family to actually get a chance to go to college and he just full of opened up a lot of doors for me and I thank you every day for it. Coach Meekins, you know, he took me in as a freshman and told me that he saw good things out of me. Success breeds success, which builds tradition. You know, you have to have some talent, obviously. We break down every day on team and family and that's, that's the atmosphere that we promote. You gotta put yourself second, put the team first. This is the first head coaching job for Corby Meekins right here at Spring Westfield High School. He's earned six district titles, five quarterfinals appearances, and picked up his 100th victory in his career against Cedar Ridge recently here in the postseason. 100 wins in 10 years, that's a testament to our, our kids and, and our coaches. And, and how hard everyone's worked for the last 10 years. And, you know, I was excited for them to, to get that. The Westfield coaching staff has earned the respect of their players because the players trust that the coaches have their best interest in mind. You know, everybody knows what to do. Do we do what we know? And that's what I try to steal in my position meetings with our players. You know, can you do it in the heat of the battle? And that's the biggest thing you know, through all seasons and our character education center fellowship of Christian athletes just making these kids better people so they can believe in themselves and have confidence to perform their daily duties. On game day, these kids truly leave it all in the field for their school, community, teammates, and coaches. Because me, you know, he know what he wants, so when we out here at practice, everything got to be right. He got that, he got that mindset, and we know that we got to do everything right if we want to make it to the state game. No mistakes. He's a great guy. He has the same mentality as us. He's very hard on us. He expects a lot from us and he pushes us very well. And I respect him a lot for that. Westfield co-offensive coordinator and tight ends coach Justin Alton was a great find for Corby Meekins and the entire Westfield coaching staff and players. I met Corby through footballscoop.com. Didn't know him at all, didn't know anything about Texas. Just talking with him and listening to how he attacks defenses, how run heavy he is, how much uh, passion he has for the game. It really turned into a great uh, relationship between me and him. Corby took a chance on Alton, who was in his first offensive coordinator coaching position after playing at Syracuse University. I have nothing but uh, highest respect for him, one of the best coaches I've ever been around. We have a great balance of kids that come from all different backgrounds, uh, but the bottom line is they all come together for one purpose, and that's to, to get better, to win, and become a family. Corby Meekins is a Chevy hometown hero in every sense of the word, and his ability to run an efficient football program shows year after year with double-digit win totals. We've been playing 13 weeks, and the biggest room in the house is room for improvement still, so, you know, we've got to take that next step. More importantly, an ability to turn boys into men and win in the game of life. In Northwest Houston at Spring Westfield High School, I'm Jeff Power.